fuck. Um, I've taken my glasses off because when I put my glasses on, it looks like I have these square eyeballs, the reflections from my uh, computer screen. So I, I'm without my glasses, so I can't really see <laughs> too much. I don't have to because I'm just talking. Uh, just a little uh, ramble here today about I, I live in the Pittsburgh area, and I guess the Pittsburgh area has been chosen as a test market for certain advertising campaigns for religions. One of them is Scientology, which I think kind of speaks for itself. I'm not going to deal with that. But another one is uh, for the Mormons. They're running commercials in the area, and what they're uh, doing, they're showing people who are like kind of cool every day with it people you know skateboard guys and motorcycle guys and nurses and and you know humanitarian people doing good things and, and at the end of the commercial the, the the person talks about this is what i do this is what i think da, 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 da. there's a rap a black singer for goodness sakes and mormons that you know 10 15 years ago that would have been unheard of but uh a black guy and he's he's a, he's a rapper and and, uh, and at the end of the commercials, they say, my name is so-and-so, and I'm a Mormon. And uh, the, the, the impression that we're to get is, well, hey, man, Mormon's cool. Man, you can be a Mormon and be cool. Why don't you give us a call? Go to mormon.org, and we'll tell you everything about what we believe. We're Mormon. And uh, I thought to myself, you know, there's a whole lot that they don't say in those commercials. If you've watched one of those commercials and uh, you're thinking about contacting Mormon.org and they'll send the missionaries, what they, what they do is, it was the same thing that they used to do when they would have on TV, you know, a free King James Bible. Uh, call this number for free King James Bible. What they don't tell you is they send their missionaries to deliver it and then you have to listen to their spiel about Mormonism. Some things they don't tell you. Uh, one of the things they don't tell you, they, they make Mormonism sound like, you know, just like your everyday Christian, Orthodox Christian church. But it's not. And, and they're, really, they're really lying. They're deceiving. What the Mormons believe, well, there's a number of things they believe. And, and you can, you know, look this up on their website. They believe that in 1820, Joseph Smith, their prophet, restored the true church. They believe that uh, the early apostles and uh, the disciples, and the teachings of Jesus, were really teachings about Mormonism, what they believed to be true, and that somehow after the apostles died off, the, 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 the true teaching just vanished, just disappeared, until Joseph Smith, through a miraculous vision uh, in 1820, got this vision, or 1830, I'm not sure of the exact year, but got this vision and found, oh, here's the truth, you know. Uh, so they believe that they're restoring the true church, that the church that has been in existence since the beginning of the church age till 1820 has been deceptive and wrong and so forth. So they want, they want, they want to restore true Christianity. Uh, of course, there's some things they don't tell you, and they don't tell their people up front. Number one, they believe that God their God, who they call Elohim, that their God at one time was a man on another planet. That he achieved Godhood, he was exalted into Godhood by uh, being a good Mormon on another planet somewhere. And he got his own planet. And they believe that if they be good Mormons, and a Mormon missionary told me this one time, he believes with all his heart that someday he was going to have his own planet. He was going to populate it with all of his wives that he seals to himself in the temple, in the Mormon temple. Uh, they don't tell that. They don't put that on the commercials. And I don't think that when the missionaries come to deliver the Bible or uh, to, to contact the people who contact Mormon.org, they don't tell them all that stuff. They talk about Jesus Christ dying for our sins, just like any other Christian church would. Talk about the atonement, Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Again, what they don't tell you is that not, not only do they think that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, but they believe that uh, Lucifer 
was uh, a spirit brother of Jesus Christ. They don't say all these things. Pretty easy to find out. But they don't tell their, their new converts these things. They say it's too, too much meat. They don't want to get into the really deep parts. The fact is that, you know, the Mormons, the Latter-day Saints, they're good people. They, they, they try to live good, wholesome lives. You know, Donnie and Marie, husband. They try to be good, clean-cut, moral people. Wonderful. Glenn Beck, right? You know, bring the nation back to God. Which God? Just recently, they had this big rally down in Washington, D.C., restoring honor. You know, and Glenn Beck was in, in charge of it. It was his vision. Glenn Beck is a Mormon. Maybe a lot of Christian people think, oh, well, they're Mormons. They, they believe like we do. Listen, they don't. They don't. They're deceived. They're good people. But they're deceived. They, they're moral. They're conservative. They're, you know, they're, they're patriotic. But they're deceived. Don't believe the lie. They had 500,000 people there, I guess, at that rally. A lot of them born-again Christians. Willing to join hands with a, somebody that denies their Christ in order to achieve political uh, success, political achievement. I know it wasn't political, but it was. Come on. You know, it was. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of ramble on a little bit. My wife isn't home, so I can talk to myself on YouTube. And uh, I, I'll put my glasses back on so you can see why I took them off. Watch, watch, watch this. Oh, look at them! Look at them eyeballs, square eyeballs. Isn't that something? Anyway, listen. If you've been watching that Mormon stuff, just uh, turn it off. Now I've got to answer my phone.